Libra rising, Libra moon. This is Ellie with your November general focus reading uh, for 2015. Now please do check your sun, your moon and your rising as we've had these cards come up time and time again and the same message over and over again. And each video will be more specific to you with a bit more information. This month I've chosen one card for your finances, your study and your work. One for your home and home relationships. One for your health, spiritual, emotional and physical well-being. And one for your love relationships. I've also chosen a card for the overall tone of the month. One for what may came up and what you may be focused on. And then how to get through that, the solution, the resolution that will appear. So it looks like um, Libra that you are dealing with another Libra or Gemini uh, Aquarius. Um, or a, a water sign. Pisces, Scorpio or a Cancer. At work, things are going to be good. Okay, so... Your overall tone of the month is prosperity. There will be plenty of money for your bills, plenty of uh, work, plenty of opportunities. This month, Libra, money is good. Now, there is an earth sign uh, who may be giving you a promotion or giving you a, a, a lump sum money, uh, repaying a debt or uh, getting an inheritance from this earth sign. Uh, that's Virgo, uh, Capricorn or Taurus. And um, this is going to give you stability and promise. They may be giving you a leg up into the world by helping you out. Now, what may come up this month? Well, come on, Libra, your exes are coming up and they're going to be causing you strife. Now, um, they are uh, could be, your ex could be a water sign, um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Uh, or this is just telling you that it's emotionally looking back at the past, emotionally looking at, at memories. That's what will be coming up for you this month, Libra. So what are you doing that you're continually looking back? You're continually letting a person, for a lot of you, this is an ex. Um, yeah, you've done this before. For some of you, this is the same person over and over again, and they cause you a lot of stress. This is what they cause you. They cause you heartache. And uh, this is where you've got, to cut, you've got to either cut your losses and start fresh, or you're going to um, continue to go down this dark spiral where you're insecure. You're insecure about your thoughts with this person, this air, air sign who's bothering you and bringing you down. And they know how to wind you up and you let them. So at work, well, we do have publicity. We do have a win. We do have a victory. We do have a great uh, celebration of great work done. So whatever it is you're hoping for this month for work, it will happen. It will go public and you will be very happy with the results. This is a win, an advancement, a promotion. Seeing the bosses, seeing your authorities, and they're loving it. This card I always see is Julius Caesar coming back from his um, conquering over other countries. And the streets are lined by all his fans saying, thank you, rejoice, rejoice. So this is you at work saving the day. Um, great advancements, the lucrative deal, and all of your co-workers clapping on the back. At home, well, we're still full of money at home. We're heading back. We've got great ideas. We're investing. We're making money. You've got messages coming from the other side. Uh, it, there's a message, you've got the bird there and you've got these red hats both on the bird and yourself. So this month you'll be having great ideas, you'll be having great resolution, you'll know how to fix these issues and, um, and, and any investments you're putting in are blooming. So if you start a new job, you uh, buy a new home, you rent a new home, this is all blossoming for you. Uh, at home, this is where your heart is. So home is beautiful for you in the month of uh, November. Um, Providing you don't, because the, the only card that's not good is this card. So providing you don't become insecure and, and isolate yourself and cut yourself away from other people. Sometimes I think, Libra, that, that for some of you, you cut people away rather than deal with the issue. Rather than say, I'm sorry, rather than say, I'm wrong, you might cut them out of your life. Or maybe someone's done that to you. So with your health, well, if I'm, you're sensing you're sensing um, improvement. For some of you, you're on a new routine, a new regime, and things are starting to look, and you're sensing that you're finally getting this battle over your health. Um, for others, this is joining forces with a, a medical team that are on the same page as you, and they are going to get the, to the root of the cause, and you will be able to get some issues. For others, this is about the waterworks in your body, uh, waterworks and the fertility. 
for both sexes, male and female. And so these will be coming up as a prominence for you in November. In our relationship singles, there's new love on the scene. He's young. He's an air sign or she. She's a young air sign, a Libra, uh, Aquarius or a Gemini. New energies. Uh, you know, quite well dressed. Um, I want to say between 24 and 28 for some of you. Um, now this person might be from a different country or from afar or has just moved here, they've just moved here uh, and you're going to have, feel really good about this. For those in a committed relationship, used to as a couple are really being prominent, you're really um, standing up for yourselves as a couple, uh, you're making advancements as a couple, uh, really getting connected and that commitment is only growing. So uh, Libra, I hope you've enjoyed that reading and I shall see you in December.